Welcome to the program. We're glad to have you with us. Well, Skip Rutherford stepped down and away from his role at the Clinton School of Public Service in 2021, but he is back with us to celebrate the 100th birthday of a real Arkansas legend, George Fisher. Thank you for being here, Skip. Robbie, always good to see you. And uh, being a political animal, as you are a political animal, probably no one had more influence on Arkansas politics in the last half of the 20th century than cartoonist George Fisher. He was an amazing guy. So for people who knew him and for people who didn't know him, tell me kind of the, a little bit of the biography of what made him such a, a legend in Arkansas political circles. He published his first political cartoon in 1944 of, of Governor Homer Atkins. And he went on to, to publish cartoons until his death in 2003. And he captured Arkansas politicians today like no one has ever been able to do. I mean, when you look at Bill Clinton and Orville Faubus and Frank White and David Pryor, he, Tommy Robinson, there's a list <laughs> uh, of generations of Arkansas politicians. Plus, he had this extraordinary series of the Corps of Engineers keep busy as, he, as they wanted to build dams and George was against it. He had the old guard rest home where retired politicians gathered. Yeah. He was just an extraordinary guy. He did incredible national stuff too. Carter, Ford, Reagan, Nixon, all of that uh, generation in there. All right, so for, for people who don't know, the Central Arkansas Library System is doing a celebration of his 100th birthday on Saturday, April 8th at the main library, downtown Little Rock, the Dara Center, uh, from 1.30 to 3.30. You're helping spearhead that. That's right. What's uh, gonna go on during that event? Well. Um, First of all, it is at the Dara Center, and it is honoring George. So we're going to have a birthday party. We're going to celebrate his work. There'll, there'll be a cake. There'll be a cake, but, right. but there's going to be a display of a lot of his memorabilia. Uh, there also will be a Farkleberry tree there. Okay. Uh, People don't know what the Farkleberry tree is. Well, we'll get into the Farkleberry in a minute, but, but, but it, it is. Uh, Ernie Dumas is going to talk about his role, George's role in journalism. Ben Combs is going to talk about George's role in the Farkleberry Follies, which raised thousands of dollars in journalism scholarships. Uh, and then the Rack and Sack Music Group, which George was very much a part yep. of folk music, preserving folk music, playing regularly in Mountain that, View. That, that Ozark that historical Ozark, yeah, music. They're yeah. going to be playing. They're, they're, they're going to play. Good. So it's, it should be a fun It's going to be a afternoon. blast. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I've got a couple of um, George Fisher cartoons yeah. queued up here. We're gonna talk about All a right. couple of them because they're great. I'm gonna start with Orville Faubus. Uh, he had been in the legislature, as, I mean, he'd been the governor for 12 years and this was towards the end of his uh, 12 years there. It is the image of the entire state legislature all the lobbyists, there's even a little mouse down in the very bottom. Yeah. They all have Orville Faubus faces because why? <laughs> well, because Faubus had such dominating control of the legislature and was such a powerful figure during his day. That uh, cartoon, Roby, I believe is, from, from an Arkansas perspective, the most famous of the, of the Fisher cartoons. Uh, and, you know, you, you, as, I, as people have said, what would George Fisher be doing today? <laughs> And, and, and I predict, uh, I predict that he would replicate this cartoon uh, with, with, uh, with Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders uh, and the whole legislature looking just like her. Uh, I, I think he would replicate it. I just, it, Faubus is even in, uh, in the podium right there. Too, oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's, so it's classic. It, so. it, 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 it spoke a thousand words. It was just, but again, I say this, that, that Faubus had such masterful control over the legislature, Sarah Sanders is right there with him. Yeah, all right, so there's another image that we have, or another uh, picture that we have of uh, the late Governor Winthrop Rockefeller. George Fisher admired Win Rockefeller deeply because he was such a, a game changer in Arkansas politics. This, this one is from when, uh, when Rockefeller died, um, and it's kind of him walking into I guess eternity right here. The, to the least of us, he gave his full measure. A really powerful um, image right there, and he's holding his hat that was just such an iconic part of Rockefeller. That clearly is one of the most um, memorable of the Fisher cartoons because who, I don't know people who didn't admire Wynn Rockefeller. Yeah. He changed Arkansas politics for the better. 
and George Fisher recognized that. Yeah. One of my favorites of all time is the uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, <laughs> we've got one where he's being stopped on his tricycle uh, by a state trooper. This is actually, this one was drawn because uh, Clinton was caught speeding and the state police pulled him over and I, I think he talked him out of a ticket. But Fisher actually started, because Bill Clinton was so young when he got elected attorney general and governor, uh, he started him in a baby carriage, yeah. and then he progressed him to a tricycle, and then I think he got a bike with training wheels and a 10-speed, and he finally gave him a truck. Yeah, at one he point had, I think he had a truck going to the White House. Yes. Um, no, he, he had Clinton pictured perfectly. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, the, and, and, the, and the tricycle thing just became a part of Bill Clinton's uh, repertoire. I mean, you know, he was just, every time he drew Bill Clinton, there was a tricycle. Fisher told me that Clinton told him that he didn't like being on a tricycle, and that's why he started elevating it to the bikes and to eventually. I think the, the tricycle did bother him a little <laughs> bit. Fisher's cartoons had the tendency to kind of edge people a little bit. Yeah. All right. Another one here that we're going to put up on display is um, of David Pryor. Um, this was after the 1972 U.S. Senate race. David Pryor. Uh, got beat in a runoff by then incumbent Senator John McClellan, who had yeah. been on the scene for decades. And at the time, you didn't know <laughs> if that finished off David Pryor's um, political career or if it started. You worked for Pryor, so, but did you work on that campaign? I didn't work on that campaign. Okay. I worked on his 78 campaign. Gotcha. So the, the I was for him in 72, by the way. <laughs> the <laughs> caption is, is it rising or setting? And you didn't know if this was the sun setting on Pryor's political career or the sun rising on his political career, but what a great metaphor to kind of describe where Pryor was at the time. This was the genius to me of George Fisher being able to capture a moment. George like that. Fisher in that cartoon expressed what everyone politically in Arkansas was thinking. Is this the beginning or the end of David Pryor? Turned out to be the beginning. Turned out to be the beginning. All right, lastly, we've got the old guard rest home. I love the old guard wrestling. This was a series that George Fisher did over the years. There's, I'll let you run through who all was in it. Orville Faubus was in there, Mutt Jones, later uh, Jim Johnson, later Frank White. Um, I've even got a jigsaw puzzle that George gave me right here that, of, uh, of all of that. So This is by far my favorite series <laughs> that George did. He skewered them in all of this and made commentary on Arkansas politics at the same time, but then had, they loved it. Oh, they loved it. And, 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 and a lot of people tried to get in it. I mean, here's Marion Crank, he makes it, you know. Uh, here's Frank White, one of the late entries coming in with his uh, banana. Uh, of course, Faubus leading. Yes. Faubus was, it was, he was the, but it, it was, he did a whole series, they had, they even had, look at this, Robbie, they had the Old Guard reunion in the opening of the, uh, uh, of the Old they Guard. They did that as a fundraiser. They did that as a fundraiser. Yeah. It benefited, including the Ronald McDonald House, back in 1984. Good so gosh. we're talking, you know, long time ago. Uh, but these characters, uh, Justice Jim Johnson, whose son Mark's in the Senate yeah. now, yeah. I mean, it's they, really... Uh, classic. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. I want one more I wanted to just show off here is uh, George Fisher gave me this uh, before he passed away. This he he was he was fun at poking fun yeah. at Tommy Robinson when he was the sheriff and later a congressman in Central Arkansas. This is a Keyhole Cops. It was a board game that they put together to make fun of all of the things that happened in there. You know, the interesting thing on Tommy Robinson on that is that George every year at the at the or at the Farkleberry College every other year would draw characters that's opening the show, and Tommy Robinson became one of the features. Bill Lancaster, who played Tommy Robinson in the Farkleberry Follies, could win a Best Actor. <laughs> All right, Sunday, Sunday, no, Saturday, April 8th, yeah. the Dara Center at the main library of the Central Arkansas Library System. Downtown 1.30 Rock. to 3.30, program will start about 2. All right, best of luck to you. It'll be it. fun. It'll Thank be you for being here to guy. go through all this. George Fisher was a sweet man on top of everything else, as biting as he could be with his, with his drawing. He was a kind person when you just had one-on-ones with oh, him. Oh, yeah, you, if you ever, uh, and you had the opportunity to sit on his front porch in Timbo and yep. Talk to him about politics and music. We forget that he had a big influence on music in Arkansas. For sure. Skip, good to Thanks see you. Thanks, Robbie. Always good to see you. All Take right. care. All right. Stay put. We're back with more right after this.